Okay, in this example we're going to read from one file and write to another file. Okay, and when we do file operations we need another include statement. We need to include the fstream library. Okay, uh, the f standing for file. So we're going to be dealing with files, so don't forget that important step. Uh, the other thing we're going to do here is declare uh, two file pointers. So ifstream is going to be for our input file, which I'll just uh, give a not so great name of in file. Uh, and my output file stream, uh, I'm going to call out file, so we can keep those two straight. Uh, I also have a couple of variables here. One is, is score, so we're going to be inputting some scores from the file, and we're also going to be inputting some names. Okay, so let's look at the file, and this is the file we're going to be dealing with. So it has a name uh, and then a score, and the whole point of the program is we want to open this file and modify it. We want to give all these guys uh, five more points. Uh, on their score here, okay, and we want to do that kind of automatically, okay. So we'll use this program to open it. It has to read two things: the name uh, and then the score um, each time through the loop, and then of course write it to a, to a separate uh, file. So we we reserve those variables for that score and then name. Notice it's an array, but again it's an array of characters, okay. So we're going to use it as a single. Uh, C character uh, string. Okay. Um, in the next line here, I have in file dot open. Okay, so I'm opening my input file. I give it a name, grades.txt, which is this file. Okay, this is grades.txt. To avoid having to put the full path uh, to this file, I just put the file in the same folder as the executable. It's in the documents uh, on this uh, particular computer. Uh, so the file name in quotes, comma, and then I have a flag here, iOS, and in, uh, signifying that it's going to be input. Okay, And we actually can specify this as part of the declaration uh, of our file pointer, but I thought it was uh, good to emphasize we're opening the file here. Okay, uh, In the loop here, we're going to be reading and writing to these two different files, uh, and then always important at the end is to close the files. Okay, so you can use this syntax, and I did it this way just to emphasize uh, we are opening the file. Okay, so we're opening this one for input. Uh, we're opening uh, this one for output, so it will create it. I use the out flag, okay, which basically is output mode. If the file existed, it would overwrite the contents. Okay, so you have to be careful here. All the previous contents would be gone. It would erase it and start from the beginning. Uh, I could also replace place this with an append flag, which is APP instead of out, and so I could add to the file instead of just overriding it. In other words, add to the end of it. So in certain applications, you may do that. Okay, so we've opened our input and our output file. Uh, this um, I don't want to gloss over. Uh, just a little bit of error checking to say uh, if it's open like it should be because we just tried to open it, uh, or if it's not open. Uh, we need to output an error uh, and then exit and the exit with a one usually means an error okay so we're signifying an error this is not in too important right now we're trying to look at how do we read and write to files uh, it is important overall that we do check for this type of stuff these types of errors uh, and make sure we did open the file okay and same error checking to make sure our output files open okay but let's get to the good stuff we're actually going to read um, from the in file, okay. So instead of cn going into name, what we have is in file, okay. So instead of getting it from the keyboard, the cn device, we're getting it from in file, which is our input file. And notice we sort of did a shortcut here, like we normally see uh, the c outs with the uh, double set here, or kind of the shortcut instead of doing two different input statements here. Um, Normally we wouldn't want to do this with a CN because we would be getting uh, input from the user uh, and it can be sort of confusing because they have to put spaces between uh, inputs uh, gathered this way. Uh, but from a file we already know the file contents so we know we're going to get good data. Uh, so in file we do have to make sure it matches up uh, but we checked out already so we're going to get a name separated by space and then the score. Uh, so check that ahead of time. So we're getting a name and a score. This is our priming input. Okay, we also have a duplicate in here, um, uh, 
whatever loop input. Okay, And notice we didn't prompt either for our input because we're getting it from a file. We don't really have to prompt the file. Okay, We're just reading it. Okay, And here's our while into file logic. So while not, uh, at the end of the file for the input file, we're going to keep getting more inputs. Okay, And at the same time, inside here, we're also going to be outputting. So as we gather each name in, okay, we've got our out file. So instead of C out, we're redirecting this to out file, which is our file we open. So we're going to put the name. We want it to be space delimited again. So we're going to put our space in there, no inline. Okay, out file again, and we're going to put out the score plus five more. Okay, so we're just going to take the score we just read in from in file, and we're going to output the same score but with five added to it. So we're going to raise the score a little bit. And then we're going to try to get another name and score, and if we're successful, we'll go through the loop again. If not, we've hit the end of file, it'll jump us out to the end, and we'll close. Uh, both of those files and we'll get our pause there. So let's execute this and we'll see how that works. So compile and run. Notice we didn't get any output to the screen. Okay, And that's because uh, we didn't do any C outs. Okay? If we also wanted this stuff to write to the screen, we'd have to double this up. So everywhere we have an out file, we would also have to do a C out, a duplicate statement to have it write to the screen. Uh, but we didn't really want that. We wanted it to go to this file called grades2. And so there that one is. And we'll look at that one. And let's go back and look at the first grades. And we'll look at the two and see if it added five points uh, to each one. And sure enough, it did exactly what we wanted it to do uh, and added five points. Uh, so that's kind of a, a quick look at how to uh, open files, read and write, uh, and close files.